the governor decree of DKI Jakarta number 31 of 2022 has regulated the standardization of the wayfinding system, including its inclusive aspect. This standardization is part of an effort to encourage the fulfillment of the third point in the consensus towards disability-friendly Jakarta transportation formed in 2020 about providing accessible audio and visual information at all stages of the journey. The implementation of the visual standardization has begun in various public transport stations and pedestrian facilities. It includes a number of Transjakarta stations claimed by Transjakarta as inclusive stations. However, based on the ITDP survey in 2022, in five samples of Transjakarta stations with the inclusive logo, other than accessibility to and from the bus stations, the audio and tactile systems have not been implemented. Seeing the urgency, ITDP Indonesia, supported by UK Pact, and in collaboration with the Directorate of Research and Development of Universitas Indonesia, or UI, supported by Puri Kitu Grants, the Transport for Jakarta, or TFJ, experts from the National Accessibility Movement, or GAUN, and the Indonesian Association for People with Visual Impairment, or PARTUNI, held a trial installation of the prototype for inclusive wayfinding features. The installation took place at the Lebak Bulu Station, set as a laboratory for the team to conduct surveys and trials in developing the features. The Trans Jakarta Lebak Police Station is one of the main transit points in Jakarta for vulnerable groups, especially people with visual disabilities. Several activity centers for people with disabilities also surround the Lebak Police area, such as the Special School for People with Disabilities and the Mitra Netra Foundation. The collaborative process has been running since August 2022 with a series of activities, including weekly meetings to formulate the design features, surveys, and user trial and testing with experts from Partuni and Gaun. The prototype trials included visual and audio information at the platform door, tactile tapping area, braille information at the gate handrail, visual and braille information at microtrans bus stops and low deck buses, during the trial phase, daily passengers at the Transjakarta Lebak Bulus station can submit their inputs through online form or directly to the field surveyors. The students from Special School for People with Disabilities near the station also tested the prototype assisted by the field surveyors. The inputs from the online form and field surveys became the basis of weekly improvements and adjustments to the prototype. The final format of the prototype and other recommendations were summarized in a document submitted to Transjakarta on International Day of People with Disabilities, ensuring the future station revitalizations can meet the inclusivity standard.